Here we go. It's everybody's favorite part of the week. Your Delaware Live Sports Top Plays presented by BSN Sports. We are going to get started at the graveyard for number 10. This video courtesy of Shaq Stimson. He gets some good ones, and this is one of them. Luke Watson lining up in the backfield. He's going to take the handoff, lower his shoulder, get into the end zone. Luke Watson, his first career touchdown on a handoff at the goal line for the Spartans. On to number nine, it's Austin Troyer and Noah Crisilla. You know these two have been connecting all season long. Here they are last week against Sussex Central. A slant across the middle of the field, and Crisilla going to do the rest. Beats the secondary off to the races into the end zone for the touchdown for the Cavaliers. At number eight, we've got some big time legs for you. We're going to start at Sussex Central with Ibrahim Levia Fajako. Check out this one, an absolute boot. Good from 40, and he had some yards behind that one. Might have been good from 50. And now we're going to head over to Abyssinio Stadium, Salesianum. You know the name James Collins. Another huge boop. This one good from 41 yards, but he also had some room to spare as well. Two big-time field goals there at number 8. On to number 7, and Brian Nelson doing it for the Del Castle Cougars. Here he is, takes the handoff in the backfield, makes a few defenders miss. Defenders just falling off. Check out the shiftiness. And then Nelson able to break a few more tackles on his way inside the 10 into the end zone. Brian Nelson for Del Castle there at number 7. On to number six, over to Apo, and that's Greg Nielsen to Noah Hoff. Check out the pump fake on the bubble screen, and then down the sideline has Hoff, who makes a nice catch, and then he'll show off the speed. A big play for the Jaguars that goes for six, Nielsen to Noah Hoff. Now to number five, we're going to stick with that same game, and Brian Wright, he has been fantastic, getting better as the season has progressed, and he's going to find that man, Yamir Knight, one of the most dangerous players in the state of Delaware. Check out the yards after the catch. Had some space in the middle, makes the catch, and he is off. 71-yard touchdown for Brian Wright to Yamir Knight. On to number four, Wilmington Friends continuing their stellar season. Check out Jaden Willie in the secondary. The ball is up. He's going to pick it off, but he is not finished. Down the sideline, going to catch some blockers. Has open space, green room in front of him, and Jaden Willie, a pick six, 55 yards for Wilmington Friends. On to number three, and Lynette Preston from Conrad. He's going to do it on special teams. He's going to catch this one right as it hits the ground at the 18, and then he's going to find the sideline. Gets a good wall set up, and he is not going to get touched. Preston down the sideline for Conrad, an 81-yard kickoff return touchdown for Preston. On to number two. This is a good one here for Dover and Sally. It's Dover trailing 16 to eight. Tamir Darden Jefferson, Dover, they get the block. He's gonna scoop it up at the 40 and take it the other direction. Two guys gonna get out in front of him, laying a block. That's gonna free him up into the end zone. A blocked field goal for a touchdown for the Dover Senators at number two. And then at number one, we have an overtime goal for your Henlopen champ, 16-0. The streak is still alive. It's Delmar. Macy Bradford able to find Bailey Phillips, who pins it to the back of the net. What a goal for Delmar. Again, the streak is alive, 16-0, and your Henlopen champs.